Good afternoon YouTube and welcome to another episode. Now I'm putting on an over exaggerated enthusiastic voice because I've broken the trailer and I'm hoping we can fix it. I'm going to just do a brief insight as to what stupid things I've done to the trailer before we actually get on with what we're doing in this video, which is boxing in those ugly roller shutters. We went to the International Camp Fan Show, we towed the trailer. It felt like I was towing a 44 I for Williams box trailer fully laden with lead. Somebody said to me, that's because your diff's still engaged, mate. You're dragging a diff, you need to get that sorted out. So the plan was to get the diff off, take the spider gears out of it, which would disengage the diff from the wheels and just mean the wheels would spin freely. So I spent a day and a half taking the diff off. We finally got the diff free and somebody else said to me, why don't you just cut the half shafts? Because then you can just remove the diff, which weighs an absolute ton, even better on your fuel economy. So I cut the half shafts, very short, because I thought, well the half shafts are fairly heavy. Let's get rid of them as well. I put it back on and now the wheel wobbles like a weeble and it will fall down. I'm hoping now, I've, as you can see, we've got no wheel bearing, no half shaft. We've got a brake drum. A friend of mine's taken it away to tighten the wheel bearings up and we're hoping that the wheel bearings are gonna tighten up because we have a massive problem now. This is a Vauxhall Brava pickup truck that is no longer in production. Obviously, I'm sure you can still get parts for it, but there are three different models. Without the registration number, VIN number, engine number, anything like that, we're going to struggle to find the right piece. And other than ordering all three and hoping one of them fits and then sending the rest back, which is an absolute ball ache, we're struggling to find bits for it. So we're hoping that the wheel bearings are going to be able to be tightened up and that is going to stop the wobbly wheel syndrome. So. I've chopped the trailer up so I can still work on it and we're going to crack on with today's video. So, I am not confident in the slightest in how this trailer is jacked up. We've got it propped on blocks of wood, we've got it propped on an axle stand, we've got a jack underneath it. So I'm going to have to be very ginger as I'm slinking around the trailer today trying to do this work and hope that we get the wheels back on tomorrow so we can have it on stable ground again. But in today's video, we're gonna be boxing in these ugly roller shutters. We're gonna just do a very simple design. It's gonna be super easy, he says. If you've been following the trailer build, uh, we've got a timber strut down here, which is what these boards are screwed into. And we're basically gonna frame from there, out, beyond there, up to another timber that we've got, that we've located in here, and basically build a little box out of inch square battening, maybe even smaller. And then I'm gonna panel this with ply, wrap it in carpet to match the rest of the walls. And then on this side, way up, which is a bit rocky, we're gonna do one box all the way down to cover both roller shutter doors on that side of the trailer. Let's get cracking. First problem that we've got to overcome and it's a doozy. Basically, I've cut our first pattern, we've pocket holed it so we can just go bosh, straight on the side of the wall, job's a good one. The only problem is, I can't get my drill down there, so I've had a slight oversight. But don't worry, remember my favourite saying, if in doubt, get the Sikaflex out. What I'm gonna do now is bond a frame to the metal structure one there, one there, and then we'll build from that. So all we need to do, this has just made our job so much easier. So because it's angled, we're gonna have to, you know, cut these at all funny angles and shapes, but technically speaking, I should just be able to repeat this process six times, bulk cut them all, and then bond them all on and clamp them and come back tomorrow and finish the job off. It's the morning now, so I can remove these clamps. We can start thinking about boxing this in. The only problem is, I ran out of clamps. So I've still got this one to do, just literally this one piece. I was three clamps short. But the rest of it is all sorted. I'll take them clamps off the end. Just need to clamp that one up, and while that one's going off, we can start 
boxing this shutter in. Top tip for you. I was trying to open this roller shutter because I wanted to let some more light in because as you see it's quite dark in there still uh, and the trailer's stuck inside because the wheels are off because of the whole wheel issue. So I thought I'll roll this shutter up, try and get a bit of light in there so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better. I got it to about here, about there, and it got stuck. And I thought, why is that stuck? And then I remembered, ah, oh, I've got the clamps on the inside. So that's why it's getting stuck. So I stuck my head in to see where the, exactly the clamps were and if I damaged the paintwork as I rolled it up. I thought, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, not, I'll not roll that up anymore. I'll just try and pull it down and whack. So I'm going to straight in the noggin. Don't do that. So we'll soldier on with poor lighting. So now we need to make end caps for each end. So basically this is 190 by 265, but then we've got in the back there, we've got a curve. We cannot get in there to profile that. So it's gonna be a bit of trial and error, but once I've got one, all of these are the same. I need to make four of these end caps. So once I've managed to get one the right shape, I can just template that and make the other three. So that's not too bad. So I'm gonna try and take a few measurements, probably, we know this is 190, we know this is 265, so the general square needs to be 190 by 265. And then I'll measure to where it starts to curve, right in there where you can't see if I put my hand there. And then we'll just make a curve that's clearly too big to start with and then keep putting it in and trimming it and cutting it in and trimming it until we get it fitting just nice. And then we'll transfer that onto another three pieces and that'll be nice and easy. So I'm going to be using MDF for this. Now, don't panic. That is not my standard practice. But as you'll have seen in the previous trailer build videos, we're trying to do this on a budget. It's for us. It's okay. Should it swell in the future, I can change it out. But I've got loads of scraps of MDF left over from a bar that I've just built in our house. So I'm being thrifty. If you're going to do this yourself, you should really use ply. This is my general template. Uh, this is hopefully going to fit first time, but let's face it, the way this week's going, it's probably not going so. There is another way you can do this to get it more accurate first time, and that would be uh, to measure down in increments, let's say 20 mil, and mark your batten in inside 20 mil, and then measure across to the wall, measure across to the wall, measure across to the wall, and so on, and so on, and so on, and then transfer those measurements and join the lines like a big dot to dot but i'm just doing this i've measured in so this was where the point of the roof starts curving and i've given it a really good curve to the point this is our 265 measurement so this is the front corner top corner where the roof starts to curve and the bottom corner and i've just given it a nice wide curve so i'm going to cut that out and if it fits it fits and if it doesn't we'll just trim it down and trim it down until we get it to fit perfectly and then we'll use this as a template to make the other three end panels. First time. I tell you what. Ah, oh, it's just too tight in the top corner because it's not letting up there. Look. go absolutely bob on that's not bad for a second attempt so all i need to do is check that this fits on every other panel obviously this one again this lighting is terrible this one we are completely tight up to that speaker pod so we're gonna have to make one and then cut it out around the speaker pod. Great. Just using up more scraps of carpet. I'm gonna get these four pieces wrapped, screw it into the van, and then we can get a good measure up for the front and bottom panels. Well, the end panels are on, and I'll show you them in natural light, but at the minute, we're working under artificial light, which is even worse in this building. We've got no sunlight coming through the big skylights in the roof, because it's half past three in the morning. Why are you up at half past three in the morning at work, I hear you say? 
because my youngest decided to set an alarm for 2 a.m. God only knows why, but I thought I could lay annoyed in bed thinking about how annoyed I am that I'm awake or I could be proactive and just come to work. On the plus side, the hubs are back with the wheel bearings tightened, so I'm going to get the wheels whacked back on, and that means we can get the trailer out, and you can actually get a proper look inside when I'm in the trailer, rather than just showing you around in the darkness. So let's get these hubs back on, bolt the wheels on, and get the trailer outside, ready for the sun rising. It's now 4.30. The wheel's back on. The reason I took the wheels off was to take the diff off to make the trailer wheel better it's worse i don't know what i've done but i've just struggled like hell to push it out of the unit there's no diff there's no half shafts there's no braking components there's just wheels and it's almost impossible to push this week well i've been working on these stupid wheels nearly every day i've posted something about this trailer on facebook with the hashtag this trailer today is no different so when the sun comes up i'll show you them end panels anyway all righty it's now 5 15 the sun is obviously still not in the sky yet but hey ho let's get in the trailer see if we can just quickly show you these end panels it's no it's no brighter brilliant yeah oh no it's not bad it's not bad that's better than it was so i'm gonna try and show you this one which will be in the dark so there's the one where we're about to cut around there. That nice fitted shape look. These guys on the end. So that's the end panels on. It's not easy to show. Oh, look at that, look at that. Bit of natural light to show you. So now we're gonna build the bottom and front panels. Now just look at the difference in that. From scabby inside of a roller shutter door to a nice neat tidy boxed in roller shutter door and that is so easy to do so simple so effective and we've done away with even to having a bottom piece of frame because we've basically screwed these two together so they're supporting each other so now all we need to do is transfer that to one big huge one all the way down this side and they're boxed in and looking lovely and there you go 7 30 in the morning and i've already got all my jobs done today is either going to be a productive day or i'm going to crash at dinner time i've got a light cable and it makes me look like a chuffing teletubby <laughs> i mean you've got to admit that that just looks so much oh, so much better now with those boxed in really cool pro some really good progress coming on what we're going to do about the wheels i really don't know as it stands we chop the half shafts off to disengage the diff got rid of the diff saved a lot of weight then the wheels started wobbling around like there's no tomorrow we've had the wheel bearings tightened up because they was really loose now the trailer won't move so they're either too tight if you loosen it they could go wobbly again we potentially need new wheel bearings I can't find anywhere that stocks anything for a Vauxhall Brava pickup truck. Please, if anybody has any suggestions whatsoever, please drop them in the comments section. But for me and this video, we're done. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Like, comment, share and all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next video.